Dude, why the fuck is my team so cool? Holy shit. Hey everyone, welcome to episode 17 of Pokemon Violet. I have no idea why almost everyone on my team is sleeping, but freaking Nightmare's got the zoomies again. Oh well, go figure that. In the last episode, we defeated another Titan Pokemon, that being Iron Treads. And then we made our way over here to the next town where the next gym I'm going to challenge is. But uh, before I could do the Terror Raid I was going to end the episode off with, I decided, hey, why not just fight a level 65 Garchomp for no good reason? No wonder why most of the team's fucking wiped. But uh, anyway, we're just going to go ahead and do that Terror Raid right about now that I was going to do in the last episode. So let's head over there now, but... Question of the day, ooh, hello? That's gotta be Fido's evolution, right? 100%. Oh, it's like a Dashund. I think that's how you say that. But Dashbun, I see. That's oh, got a lot of little cinnamon rolls for ears. Ah, oh, that's cute, I love this. Okay, so question of the day. Um, since I had a pizza for dinner earlier, Yo, earlier when I recorded this, this is like Saturday the... Oh god, what is today when I'm recording this? For posterity, it's Saturday the 26th where I'm recording this. So, you know, just to let you know, like, how far behind the episodes might be. And oh my god, I forgot to buy more Great Balls again! I'll do that after this. But, yeah. Question of the day. What is your favorite pizza topping? Let me know in the comments. Oh, new move. Night Slash for Artemis. Let's fucking go. Hell yeah. Get rid of Bite for that. Easy. Easy choice. Dash Bun, the dog Pokemon. The surface of this Pokemon's skin hardens when exposed to intense heat. Oh, like a roll being overcooked. And its body has an appetizing aroma. Ooh, we can buy Luxury Balls now. Um, it's about like three Luxury Balls. And then, just a bunch of Great Balls. How many can we get? Um, let's go like 40, and then we'll have to pay with LP, obviously. And four Premier Balls, nice. Okay, off to the Terror Raid. Ooh, apparently I have not arrived at my destination because I couldn't make that jump. All right, hang on, hang on, we'll remedy this, hang on. All right, there it is, and we're here. Oh, wait, let me grab this TM first. Yoink. Snowscape. Summons a snowstorm lasting five to... Wait, 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 hang on. Let, let me look at that again. I wasn't done reading that. Uh, go to your... Go your friggin' bag, Daniel, for fuck's sake. Snowscape, which apparently no one can learn. User summons a snowstorm lasting five turns. This boosts the defense of ice types! Oh my god, this is literally better hail! Dude, I've been asking forever for some kind of buff for ice types based on weather. Dude, I've been asking for a buff for ice types forever, man! Bro, I think that's the exact thing I said in... My Q&A video when, you know, somebody was talking about, oh, hey, how would you buff a certain uh, Pokemon type or whatever? I don't forget, I don't remember the exact question, but I think it was exactly along the lines of this. Buffing defense of ice types in the hail, like rock types get for Spadef in the sand. Bro! Oh, oh my god, I'm so fucking happy right now. I'm so happy about that. Oh my god, that's so awesome. Okay, let's do this terror raid. That might be a Citadel? Ooh, that's, that's star three. That's a three star, even. No, I think I can handle it with, uh, with bonkers here. Cool. Not, you know, not a terrible selection of Pokemon. I've got Mold Breaker. The Sandow's got Intimidate. Always good. Right, so, I'm gonna go with a Flash Cannon, because technically, I think I've got higher special attack on this thing. Oh boy, Avalanche. It's gonna do more, because it moves second. Oof. Oof, alright. Alright. 
All right, come on. Take down. Should be fine. I resist it. And you get a little bit of recoil. Should be all right. Ah. Well, so much for that idea. Oh, great. And I fucking you snowscape. Lovely. I fuck it. I'm going. I'm going for a sweet kiss. This thing needs to start hurting itself. All right, come on. Come on, hurt yourself. Damn. Yeah, we've already got the hell out. Why would you even bother with that? Also, should we be taking residual damage from the... I guess snow is a different thing than hail? Let's see here. Hmm. I'll figure this out eventually. Alright, that was a fun little side, but I think it's now time to go challenge the gym like I meant to do in this episode. So, let's go ahead and see what that is all about. Hey, Daniel! Oh, I guess we do own Nimona battle from the last time, don't we? I saw you going into the gym and came running. Listen, I'm really sorry I couldn't battle you last time we ran into each other. Wait, don't get me wrong, I didn't chase you down just to battle you. Oh, really? Then again, I guess I wouldn't mind a battle or anything if you wanted to. Ah, the classic, uh, you know, j just kidding. Unless. Unreal. Or we're going to do it after the gym. Okay. I'll probably end up doing that in the same episode. Welcome to the Madali Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Yep, my name is Daniel. Great. Now, in order to face the gym leader, Larry, you'll need to first pass the gym test. Here at the Madali Gym, that means ordering a special secret menu item. What? Specifically, a menu item at the Treasure Eatery, a much-loved a much loved restaurant, excuse me, here in Madali. Order correctly, and you pass. Right now, there are three other challengers around town attempting this gym test. Each challenger has been given a different clue that will help them discover the secret dish. You'll be given a clue as well. Please find and battle the other challengers. The loser must tell the winner their clue. I see. Get the clues, form the dish, and then order for him. I guess I did see in the map description about Larry that he apparently loves to eat, so I guess this kind of makes sense? So, how regular season their dishes? So I have to go to the treasure eatery, see what everybody's seasoning their dishes with, and then that's my clue, and then I have to go ante that up against the clues of the other trainers. Alright nerds, what's the secret ingredient? Fess up. Are you a regular here? Hmm? Oh, yes, I suppose I do come here often. You must be a gym test challenger. Here's a tip for you. A nice squeeze of lemon gives any dish a refreshing kick. Lemon. Got it. Thanks, bud. I think on the way over here I saw at least two of the gym trainers. I know I passed by at least one. Oh, that wasn't the one I passed originally, but I guess this is one of them. Let's go, Santiago. Hey, Dunsparce. I have the better version, though. All right, what's this Pokemon's level? Where are we at? Where are we at level-wise? 34? This is literally right where I'm at. Perfect! This is legitimately right where I'm at. Kid, get out of the way. You're going to get smashed by this hammer. Sorry, I had to let that child pass. It took about 10 years. Anyway, Flash Cannon. You know, I think I do like the Flash Cannon animation in this game a little bit more than the one Sword and Shield. Like, Flash Cannon was one of those moves I just did not like what they did with it in Sword and Shield. It just, it didn't feel as impactful, you know what I mean? Uh, let's go with Nightmare.
I feel like I might be able to get a little bit more damage off. Yes, I know. Use the ground type move. But I should be faster than the Dunsparce. Faster, yes, but not powerful enough to knock it out in one hit. Okay, Yawn should be fine. Yawn should be fine, theoretically. I need this to kill, though. Oh! Really? You're going to give me a low roll on that? Ooh, 3 HP! And unfortunately, I'm going to fall asleep. That is not great. I'm just going to have to swap here. Um, you know what? Just to finish you off, I'm going to show you your superior. Behold, the majesty of Dun Dun Sparse! Who are you? I'm you, but Dun Dunnier. Behold, the power of Hyper Drill! Absolutely unnecessary, but you know what? It's not always about winning. It's about sending a message. Listen really closely to the Blue Bird Pokemon. I'm still puzzling over that word it said. All I kept the uh blah blah the da, da, da okay, bluebird. Something about a blue bird. Something about a blue bird. And I know it's seasoned with lemon. I don't know if that tells me all that much. Oh, here's the trainer I passed earlier. I probably should have healed my team before this. Whoops! We got Gisela. Yeah, that's an Ursa Ring. That is an Ursa Ring. Right. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and switch because I forgot to heal after the last battle. Oops. Yo, know, I think it's calls for Artemis. Artemis, handle it! Mostly because I want to see the flower trick animation again. That's still so cool. That is so cool, dude. Meowskirada is so fucking cool, dude. It's ridiculous. Hey, level up for Nightmare. But seriously, we have to go heal after this one. Oh my god, we have to go heal so bad. A dark spot surrounded by stairs. This looks like a dark spot surrounded by stairs. Fire Blast, okay? Fire Blast and Season with Lemon, and I need to do something related to a blue bird. So after I heal, let's go look for that other clue. Oh my god, there's a fucking squawkabilly on this person's head. Talk a. Talkabilly? Talkabilly? I don't know if that's a word I need to be. No think? Talkability, no think. Medium! Okay, medium, that's the clue. Fire Blast, medium, lemon. That's what I got so far. Fire Blast, medium, lemon. Fire Blast, medium, lemon. Fire Blast, medium, lemon. Fire Blast, medium, lemon. Up, oh, here we go. Nope, you're gonna tell me your clue, nerd! Because unfortunately for you, the other person taking the gym test right now is the main character. Alright, bonkers. Let's show this overgrown rat what you're made of. Actually, it's not even an appropriate insult. The gumshoes line eats Rattata. Like, that was the whole thing about Young Goose and Gumshoes being brought into Alola. It was to control the Alolan Rattata population. I'm not even getting my insults right. This is the fourth episode I've recorded today, so, uh, yeah, maybe my brain's a little bit frazzled. Greedent. Um. Yo, we'll keep Bonkers out here for the experience. But I think I might have to do a cheeky swap. Because, uh, yeah, Bonkers is looking a little worse for wear right now. But I still want you to get the lion's share of this experience. You and Mudskipper are probably the two most needy... As far as experience goes. Haha, -ha, no body slam for you. 
Right, let's go Flame Charge. Because Shadow Claw obviously isn't going to do much. It's not like I need a speed boost. I just want a stab move. Oh god, you know, Bite. No good thing I'm faster than you by probably a country mile. Really need either a crit or just... Oh god! When I said I needed a crit, I didn't mean for you! Good lord. Alright, fucking Mud Skipper then, I guess. God damn. I hit him with a bulldoze. Good lord. Almost. Oh, that was a crit also? Jeez. Alright, good. The regular hit was enough. Good. Jeez. Oh, this gym leader is going to be an ordeal. Hey, level up for bonkers. Let's learn play rough? Uh, sure. So... It's 90-90. Uh, yeah. If, if I want to heal, I could just probably use an actual item. It's fine. The odd one out at one of the ice cream stands. Oh, boy. Well, that's going to be something else to look for. Once I heal again... Oh, nice. Free leftovers. Hey, thanks for the Gimme Ghoul coins. Appreciate it. Now then. No. Definitely not what I need. I, yeah, I don't think this is the ice cream stand. I think it's just a regular old food court. Whoops. Ooh, a full restore. Not the ice cream stands, but hey, it works. Bro, my kingdom for an ice cream stand. Oh, here we go. Mayhaps. Um. Okay, why are you selling grilled rice balls that's sugar and ice? Maybe just knowing that there are rice balls is the clue. Maybe there's not a trainer to fight for that clue. Maybe just knowing that the main item that you're looking to order is rice balls? Maybe that's the clue and that you just had to look at it on the menu of sugar and ice. Okay, so it's rice balls, fire blast, medium, lemon. Out. Oh. Mm-hmm. All right. Order the secret menu item. Let's go. Grilled rice balls. Medium serving. Uh, fire blast style. Garnished with lemon. Medium serving grilled rice balls. Fire blast style with fresh lemon on the side. Gotcha! Medium rice balls, extra crispy with lemon! Ooh. Okay, so I'm pretty sure all those people who were eating there just died. <laughs> you may have just murdered everyone who was eating at the fucking main thing. Okay, cool. Am I ready to battle? I feel like I healed up my Pokemon. I did, obviously didn't have any battles trying to figure out the third clue, so... Or the fourth clue, I guess. No, I think we're good. I think we're good. You know what? One more thing, though, actually. Let's put Mudskipper up front to set up the Toxic Spikes. Okay, now we're good. Of course. In that case, please head on to the Battle Court. Larry, you're up! Oh, that's Larry! I thought your hair looked a little bit too exceptional. You could just be an office worker. Hello. I'm Larry. I'm assigned to work as the gym leader of the Medali Gym. Good job making your way through the gym test. And well, maybe try the other dishes on the menu too sometime. Everything's good here. 
Anyway, my boss will dock my pay if I spend too much time chit-chatting. Let's get this battle over with. Wow. Larry, you are too real, my man. You are too real. I feel your pain. Thank you for doing business with us today. I, Larry, will be at your service. Yeah, get ready to serve up that gym badge, bro. Alright, time to face off against our fifth gym leader, Larry! A normal type specialist starting off with Kamala! Let's fucking go! I just ate, so let's not go too hard. Sorry, pal. Main character. I don't know how to do anything except go full force. Alright, you're right where I am. Perfect. Ooh, that's a big slam! And it's stabbed because it's normal. Okay, I think I can survive one more to get the second layer up. Should be fine. Also, good thing you're starting with Kamala because obviously, you know, with it having comatose, I'm pretty sure that would prevent it from having poison. So, you know, good thing this is out first. Right. So now, the plan is going to be a cheeky swap into Nightmare in case you try to go for Slam again. Which I wouldn't imagine you would go for Yawn again considering I, I would be going to sleep this turn if I had stayed out. Yep, called it. Also, sorry, I had to get some water, uh, which you should all be doing. Anywho, let's go with a flame charge. Not bad, not bad. Ah, crap, there's a yawn. Not great. Ah, come on, Nightmare. Ooh, Sucker Punch. Oh, you cheeky little shit. Nice! Beautiful crit nightmare! Let's go! Of course, I'm gonna fall asleep after this turn, which is really unfortunate. Nice! Mud Skipper grows to 35. Excellent. Uh, da dun sparse! Oh no! Alright, uh, I know this thing has ground type moves, so, uh. Like, I assume it has ground type moves. Because, you know, the last dun sparse I fought had draw run, so it would stand to reason. That his dun, dun sparse would also have ground type moves, such as drill run. So, you know what? I don't think Hellhound's had a lot of screen time so far. Let's get Hellhound out here uh, for the Intimidate. If I can learn to talk, that'd be amazing. Right? Yep, and there's the Toxic Spikes already. So, we're going to go with a crunch to start things off, just to gauge speed. I'm definitely faster than you. Not anymore. That's awkward. Oh, well, at least I got toxic poison on you, so I'm going to take my time with this. Because eventually, you will die to that poison. The thing about toxic poison, that stacks. Every turn, it doubles. And unless you heal the poison or switch out, you're going to die in eight turns regardless. Oh boy, Hyper Drill! Wow. Alright, so you are slowly being whittled down by the poison. I feel like I have time to paralyze heal. Ooh, ooh, starting to hurt a little bit. Starting to hurt. Um, you know what? I think I'll let the poison do its thing. I need to get a super potion onto Hellhound. Just to be sure. That's why I got the toxic poison out. That's why I set up the toxic spikes. So I can do half the work for me. I'm telling you people, hazards win games. Always set up some hazards if you can. Hazards win games, dude. I'm telling you. I know I'm faster than you, so I can just crunch you and be done with it. Nom! Nice. Double level up. Ooh, Star Raptor! Right, do I have anything to do with flying types? Um... Uh, you know what? Also, I just realized... This means I can't rely on the Toxic Spikes. Because Star Raptor's not going to be uh, affected by those. 
All right, it looks like Tsuchinoko is the play because I can glare it to paralyze it and then I can Ancient Power for the Rock type uh, matchup. And that also could give me the Omni Boost if I'm lucky. This is still better than getting cornered by my boss. Oh, too true. Larry, you gotta stop being so relatable, man. Ah, great. Should have figured you had Intimidate. Well, I'm glaring you right off the bat, so... You're pretty good. I might end up losing this. Come on, Larry! Step it up a notch! We've got hungry customers waiting! Give them something to cheer for, you hear? Oh, God. Oh, God, it's the dinner rush! Oh, no! My worst nightmare! It's Wednesday, and the church down the street just let out! Every week, without fail, man. Well, you heard the good folks. I suppose I could put on a bit more of a show. By terrestrializing, perhaps? Oh, yeah, I forgot that's what the normal type uh, Terra Gem looks like. Or Terra Crystal, whatever it is. I think it's time to show you that real life isn't all just being true to yourself. Oh. Someone perhaps tried to be true to himself and got shut down for it, I bet. I right, come on, Tsuchinoko. Stare at him menacingly. There you go. Right. Let's go with that ancient power. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're a normal type now. Shit. So you lose the half-life, so you're not even weak to rock now! Fuck! Ah, <laughs> uh, good try, Tsuchinoko. Um, okay. Uh, you know what? Let's get Hellhound in for the Intimidate. The important thing is that Tsuchinoko did, in fact, get the uh, glare off. Just so, you know... Uh, it'll be paralyzed. So there's every chance it won't be able to move on some turns. And I just remember what Facade does. It increases the attack power of the move if you freaking inflict a status condition. I'm an idiot! I'm actually stupid! Oh my god! I just freaking increased Facade's power! Oh my god, I'm such a moron! Okay. Fucking nightmare! Get out here! Get a hard switch on this terrestrialized facade. I'm assuming it's just gonna go for facade again and miss. Unfortunately, you are still asleep, so, you know. I'm just gonna have to go for flame charges. Come on, nightmare! There's the area lace. It shouldn't be stabbed now. All right, good. Nightmare, come on! You're killing me, buddy! Okay, I'm just gonna have to use the forward store. I can't risk it. I can't risk it anymore. I'm gonna have to use the forward store. Assuming I didn't already use it and just completely forgot about it. Nope, still have it. All right, good. At least I'm pretty sure Star Raptor has no way to put me to sleep, so that's good. Alright, so what's, um... Think about this. What's Nightmare's Terror type? It's Fire, right? Yeah, okay, so here's what we do. We Terrastalize, and then we go for Flame Charge. Alright, Nightmare. Show them what Terrastalizing's really made of! Here we go, Terrastalize Flame Charge! Nice! Pretty big damage on that. And you can't use your Terra Facade because I'm immune to it! Haha! <laughs> Excellent! Let's go! 
Good job, Nightmare. Also, shout out to D Dun Sparse for the assist. Hey, two big level ups. Fantastic. You certainly threw me for a loop. I sure did, pal. That is Jim Lear number five now. You're rather strong, aren't you? Enough to bring out my poker face, even. I lost, so that means I have to give you a badge, but... The battle made me a bit hungry. Care to join me for a meal? Sure, alright. Fuck me, I could use some fucking good food after that. Having five gym badges in hand makes it easier to catch Pokemon up to level 45. Yeah, it still doesn't help me with that Garchomp from last episode. That's still a bit above my pay grade. This is for you, though hopefully a child like you has no need to put on its namesake. Ah, facade. Mmm. <laughs> the dishes here, they've all got flavor. Good flavor, I mean. Oh, don't worry about the bill. I do earn a salary, after all. Now I'd better get back to work, if you'll excuse me. Yo, it does make you think what kind of money gym leaders who are just gym leaders earn. Oh, never mind what I said. Hello, Gita. Another gym leader defeated. Well done. Rika informed me that there was an unusual trainer worth keeping an eye on. It seems she meant you. I'd guess as much. I had the pleasure of observing your last match. I was impressed by the fantastic show, the, the fantastic skill you showed. I was going to say, show you skilled? What? If you manage to keep your momentum and achieve champion rank, I will be very interested in inviting you to the Pokemon League and... Hey, hey, Daniel, I've got my team all picked out. Oh, boy. I saw you battling the gym leader. You just keep getting better. How good to see you again, Champion Nimona. It has certainly been a while. Well, wait! La Primera? With Daniel? Why do you call her that? Wait, did I forget to give you the full explanation? Yeah, you kinda did. Everyone calls Miss Gita La Primera because she's just that. She's the real number one, even higher than us regular champions. Oh, so she's like THE champion. Yep, she's the top champion. Ah, I see. I do indeed hold that claim. Alongside my role as chairwoman of the Pokemon League, that is. I thought you were too busy to spend your time checking out gyms. I'm not here to inspect the gym. I've come to scout some rather promising young talent. Whoa, Daniel! I look away for one second and you're famous? But hey, I found Daniel first. You may be La Primera, but you can't go stealing him from me. <laughs> I suppose I've got to get in line. That's right, come on, Daniel! Time for a battle! Quick, let's go! The battlefield's calling! One moment, please. Huh? What is it? I would very much like to observe this match, if that's alright. Oh, haha, <laughs> totally fine by me. Eh, uh, you know what? Sure. That's where we can cap off this episode. With a battle against Nimona. Ooh, I wonder if her Quaxi's gonna be fully evolved. I mean, if this is gonna be right around in the level range of, uh, the fifth gym then it would make sense. You remember how it all works, right? Once you get gym badges from all the gyms? I gotta stop adding words that aren't there. You get to throw down against the strongest Pokemon trainers around. Yes, you must face the Pokemon League. It is located to the northwest of Mesagoza. The Pokemon League is where trainers, uh, the Pokemon League is where trainers are reborn as champions, Jesus. The greatest honor that they might dream of. Collecting eight gym badges sets you up to take the champion assessment. If you can face the challenge of the final examiner and win, you'll become a champion. Just imagine how that moment would feel. Try getting into that champion mindset. Now, set your sights on reaching that big, important stage, and let's bat it. Excuse me one moment. I believe Daniel's Pokemon... Uh, yes? All right, let's do it. All right, Nimona, show me what you got. Under the light of the full moon, too. Ooh, you got a Lycanroc. Ooh, this might be a little rough. 
I know La Primera's watching, but no need to get worked up. Just stay cool. Are you trying to convince me or yourself? Ooh. Yeah, she's right where I'm at. Well, time to take... I was gonna say time to set up some toxic spikes, but I flinched. Alright, come on, Mud Skipper. There you go. Ooh, Quick Claw, nice. So there's no chance of a flinch this time. Excellent. And there's layer number two. And we're good. Ow. I go on Quick Claw? No. Of course not. That'd be too easy. Ooh, Mud Skipper's hurting, and you flinched. Okay. You know what? Let's just let's just bring out Artemis. Especially now that we can get Pokemon to obey us up to 45. Me hitting 40 is not such a daunting thing anymore. Oh wow, you're gonna quick attack me, you little shit. Unbelievable. And you have a Cell Rock, damn! Oh, it's like the full animation for Flower Trick. Oh, that's rad. You know what? I'm gonna capture that. I'm gonna capture that on the Switch itself. Oh, wow, you had a thing for critical hits, too. Damn. Good thing you got to experience both in one. Right, Gumi. Ooh, nice. Um, you know what? Bonkers. Your fairy type, you'll be immune to its uh, dragon stab. Should be alright. Aw, we're a little cutie. Love Gumi. It's making me think of my Gudra from the Crown Tundra playthrough. Majin Budra. Right, let's just go for the play rough. Ooh, nice! The animation works really well with that move. Hey, level up for Mudskipper. Nice. Wants to learn Megahorn? Do I have room for this? No, I don't think I have room for this. It's only 85 accuracy, and it doesn't have a secondary effect. It's just raw power, but... It's not really what Clodzire is here for. It's more for the Toxic Spikes and the Yawn. So, nah. Palmo, is that... Oh, is that a evolved form of Palmy? Probably. Um, Alright, Mudskipper, we're going to bring you in, but I am going to heal you immediately, because you're still hurting from that uh, initial Lycanroc beatdown. So, let's see. Wow, that's just... That's literally just palmy on its hind legs. <laughs> uh, finally learned to stand up without falling over while it attacks. Amazing. Alright, Max Potion. Let's go, Clodzire. Ow. Thank God for the Toxic Spikes, dude. Right, let's go for that Stab Bulldoze. Not that the Speed Drop will matter for your Quick Attacks, but, well, I just need a super effective hit. For that reason right there. Nice. Hey, level 36 for, uh, Bonkers. Quackaval. Is it Quackaval or Quackaval? I have no idea, but I have to assume this is the final Evo, so... Alright, Artemis! You're back on the stage! Ha! Wow! You seen this, Primera? I'm getting backed right into a corner! Alright, let's see! Ooh! Fancy! You almost look like a peacock now! I mean, it does kind of throw out my hope that Quaxi would evolve into a pirate, but you know what? I don't hate this. I don't hate it. Anyway. Oh god, that's right, you're going to terrestrialize. Hopefully I'm still faster than you.
Here we go with the flower trick. Nice! All that show it for nothing. Incredible. Oh, a couple of level ups on the horizon. People are going to start paying more and more attention to you. I just know it. Yeah, that's what they tend to do with the main character. An amazing display of talent, even against one as skilled as champion Nimona. That was a splendid match. I enjoyed watching very much. Now even La Primera thinks you're one to watch. You've got so much potential. The way you're going, I better watch my back. You know... Since the first time we met, I've been weirdly sure of one thing. You're going to become a champion, Daniel. No doubt about it. Even if I keep mixing up the words of my sentence because the narrator is an idiot, it doesn't change the fact of what I said. The rest of these gyms? You can take them. 100%. No problem. I agree. In fact, you should take this. Consider it an investment in your future. Terra Blast. Ooh. -hoo. If the user has Terrasilize, it unleashes energy of its Terra type. And it inflicts damage based on the higher offensive stat. That is kind of busted. If a Pokemon uses that move while Terrasilized, the move's type will change to the Terra type of the Pokemon. One day, Daniel, you and me are going to have the greatest battle of all. I know it. I'm going to go train up even more than I already have been. Yeah, you do that. She shows you such support and friendship. Or perhaps... Perhaps she hopes you might truly rival her? No, I think there's no mere hope. She seems to have complete faith that you will catch up to her. At any rate, allow me to return you to the gym where I found you. Uh, I'd rather you return me to the Pokemon Center. I'm... Kinda hurting right now. All right, and that is where we're gonna end off this episode because I've been recording for an hour and we got a lot done. We got a new badge, we did a terror raid, we beat Nimona again, we got a cool new move, saw some cool new evolutions. Like, there was a lot in this episode. A lot in these previous few episodes, so I think we, need, uh, we might need to reel it back just a little bit in the next episode. Maybe head back to the academy, do some more classes, you know? Do some more of that fancy book learning that we're supposed to be doing as a student of Uba Academy. But anyway, thank you for watching this episode of Pokemon Violet. Give it a like if you liked it. Answer the comment question down below. Subscribe for more of these videos in the future. But until then, take care of yourselves. Drink some water. And maybe don't let your crushing day job completely destroy your soul. If you can help it, that is.